I was born in Rock Springs, but I actually grew up in Green River, so rival. <laughs> I'm teaching on the, on the opposite side now, so. I guess I have to say, you know, I was the head girls varsity coach and that was the only team that I really wanted to beat. <laughs> was Green River, isn't that terrible? My family's from here. My mom and dad both still live here. Um, my husband is, is here. I met him here. He was teaching, currently teaching. Uh, so, you know, it, we just, it was just made sense to stick around here. You know, just a, a good area, great community, um, very good people here. And, you know, when I was growing up, we always thought, oh, Rock Springs is scary. You know, these kids are scary. And they're not. You know, I mean, they're, they're the same kind of kids. Um, and, and getting to know the kids here, you know, you just grow to love them. And that's, that's what you love about your job, not necessarily the school. You know, we're a high school of about 1,250 students. Uh, we've got a very diverse population. Uh, we've got a lot of programs, a lot of interventions, a lot of activities to try to make a connection with every kid that walks through our door. Uh, I think Darcy approaches PE. Um, I have a PE degree, and I think she approaches it the same way that a lot of PE pe teachers do, and that um, they're a professional just like any other teacher. And PE is the one, the one class that, in theory, could really help you live a longer, healthier life. I actually supervised her um, my first three years here, and then uh, she's also been a coach in our building. So I've gotten to see her interact with a, a large number of students, and I think she's got a she builds great relationships with the students. Uh, she understands that she's there to serve them, and I think kids that go through her class, uh, I think it's a good experience for them, and I think uh, they take things out of that class that they can use throughout their life. PE is so different from the past. Um, I want kids to come in and, and be excited about moving, not thinking they have to be athletic to move for the rest of their life. Obviously, we know kids aren't moving enough already, and we want them to continue to do it. So I just think I do a good job encouraging, motivating kids to, to move. Kind of weird because I thought I wanted to teach elementary. I mean, that's kind of where I was leaning because I really enjoyed those kids in college and during my student teaching. But got my first job at the high school and I actually really enjoy it. I enjoy being up here. There, it's it's a challenge because you know when I taught elementary, elementary, it's like kids want to move. They're excited about movement. High school kids, not so much. So it's a challenge for me to to get them motivated to want to move, to want to be active. And you got to hide fitness. You know, you can't, you got to hide it and, and you got to do fun activities that, that they're moving and enjoying and having a good time, but they don't realize that they're actually doing something good for their body. We try to tell them that, but you don't want them to, to know that, oh God, this is hard, I don't want to do it. We really are focusing more on like lifetime fitness rather than sport related. So we are kind of going away from just doing, you know, the traditional physical education activities, you know, football, basketball, volleyball, those kinds of things. So we're doing some things that are more lifelong. Uh, we do this unit because pickleball is actually the number one senior citizen activity in the United States. I, I think they know if they take my class, I'm going to have high expectations for them. They know that they're not going to just sit out. I don't let kids, any kids sit out. If you notice, we, have, we don't have any kids sitting, not doing anything. Even if they're not dressed out, we make them participate. Um, and I think they know they're going to learn some things about fitness and about activity and how it's important and how it's beneficial to their health. I'm very motivated. I'm very proud of what I do. I have a passion for it, especially for teaching kids to be lifelong movers. I think that it's definitely a crisis right now in our nation. And I'm very passionate about getting them to understand the importance of, of their own individual health.